Pastor Aaron Gillespie. Welcome to Redeemer Lutheran's Midweek Devotion. Thanks for listening. Last week, we, or last time I had a devotion, we talked about peace at Christmas time. And we're going to continue the peace at Christmas time in preparation for, well, what you've probably already noticed is the Christmas season that's begun to invade the stores and the places where you shop. Just a few few weeks, beginning with Thanksgiving and really all the way through the Christmas season, it will kick off in a fervor, won't it? And you probably will be busy and there's going to be, a, a, you know, you're already maybe thinking about gifts that you, you would be purchasing for somebody or a loved one. Uh, there's going to be special events. There are going to be special parties and get-togethers and relatives coming in. And it gets very busy and it, we often can lose the focus. So rather than waiting till then to try to refocus, let's set our focus straight now. And the prophet Isaiah, again, helps us to do that with these wonderful words, these calming words for those of us who might tend to get a little anxious, a little uh, caught up in the, the, the hustle of the season. Listen to these words from Isaiah chapter 40. He writes this, Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. God wants you to enjoy the Christmas season. And so, without even saying the word, you know what he's talking about, don't you? Peace. This is all about peace. And how do we have that peace? How, how do we have this comfort that God wants proclaimed to us? How, how how is it that God's messengers would speak tenderly to us, not in sharp and angry tones? Well, he tells us, because your hard labor has been completed. What is that hard labor? That hard labor would include any obligation you have toward God to, be, to keep his commandments, to be righteous before him. God says, done. I've completed that for you. All, all the things that you would have to do to try, try to make up for your sins, the things you would have to suffer to, to uh, atone for those sins, God says, done. I've forgiven those sins. In fact, I've given you double for all your sins. It simply means that God has super abundantly covered your sins with his forgiveness. And we heard last time, and we're going to hear it again in probably all of our devotions, just how God works that completion of, of work for us and that, that forgiveness of sins. He did a, a, very, a most amazing thing, something we would never have dreamed of. And Christmas is all about that. God said, I'm going to take care of it all in my son. I'm sending him to do your hard work for you. I'm sending my son to suffer for your sins so you don't have to. I'm sending my son to win forgiveness, super abundant forgiveness for all your sins. That's what God accomplished by sending his son at Christmas. And it's why one of the main messages of, of the Christmas season is peace. God's invitation to you now and always, especially in the hustle of the Christmas season, is believe it. God has worked peace for you. Your hard work is completed. Your sins paid for. Have a blessed week.